Thank you very much, Smithy. Uh, it is the uh, new mobile site, Mobet, WilliamHill.com, 273 Sprint. Jimmy Lolly. The star of Greyhound Racing currently, Greyhound of the Year, leading sprinter, 69 open race wins in the bag. Five out of five on his comeback, I think, from injury. An absolutely stupendous, I thought, at Nottingham last week. Uh, drawing track one, probably not ideal, uh, but the even money uh, about his chances certainly was. Helen Addison Cheers. leading the charge. Okay. Threes okay. on in the ring, 8.35. Pigal Star runs out of track two for Nora McKellistrom and the Fizz Club. Uh, Kate Harris, of course, uh, one of the Greyhound girls' uh, calendars. Pigal Star. And uh, congratulations, you might just see a little bump there. Uh, so congratulations, she's expecting is uh, Kate, so uh, all the best. Pigal Star, veteran sprinter, losing run to overcome 15 open race successes on her card, though. And she might just get a nice toe round if Jimmy Lolly flashes out the boxes, which, we, of course, we all expect. Seamus Cahill's team on fire. Trap three uh, is Nick Colton's Johnny's Way, owned by Rody Woodcock. Of course, we've got uh, Tyrannus Rex running a little bit uh, later. Barbara doing the honours. Blue Ribbon finalist, uh, of course, over four bends, but over two bends. He won well at Kinsley when we were there up there for the uh, Jim Cracker uh, stunning performance on that particular night from Johnny's Way in a, uh, a decent trial at Oxford since, since 1501. Kish Corsair runs out of track four. Uh, Paul Garland trains this one incredibly, although a locally based greyhound. This is his first uh, competitive action at, at Wimbledon. Well known to Romford fans, over the 400 metres, uh, an ever-present and plenty of wins there. Also a hove as well, ten open race successes. And generally runs over short four bends. Got plenty of speed, owned by Messrs. Drew, Seifleet, Soz, of course, and uh, Seifleet. Exciting and runs out of trap five for Richard Reese, uh, the Hayes family, Jeremy Hayes and Richard himself. Top grade here, plenty of successes, indeed 18 of them. Exciting and has always had a touch of class about him. On home soil, 18 wins from 69 starts is his Wimbledon record exciting. And, of course, like most of these, going to be a big, big price, 16-1 to 1 in the face of uh, competing against the legend of the track that is Jimmy Lolly. Track six is Ardera Blaze, trained by Jason Foster, informed for Billish Renegade. Well done, team. Excellent effort. Great track. Great track. JK Syndicate own Ardera Blaze, lightly raced for Foster, but ran behind Sirot Flash at Romford. That was a pretty hot Romford race on uh, Friday, I think, Ardera Blaze, and uh, ran pretty well prior to that. Well, up in the restaurant here tonight, Keith said earlier that he is expecting about 100 diners, so not too bad in the restaurant. And the reason for that is £15 per person for a three-course meal. Have a look at this menu. It's really nice. Creamy garlic mushrooms, fillet of sea bass. Lots of choice. £15 for three courses. Brilliant. Anyway, Clive and JK, Jonathan Kay, better known to everyone else, is enjoying the lovely restaurant up here. Can anything beat Jimmy Lolly? No. <laughs> and I certainly wouldn't like it to tonight. But uh, you never know, do you? Jonathan Kay, I seem to be following your tips and naps at the moment, and they're not going too well. What do you think, Jimmy Lolly or not? I hope so. He's the grey under the year. He's a fantastic story, probably one of the best stories that we've got. And he's back from serious injury and just come back as good as ever. Please hope he wins. Well, I don't think anyone thinks he can be beaten, but enjoy the race anyway. Super. What do you want off the menu, Gil? I'll have the uh, sea bass look <laughs> nice, didn't it? And the creamy <laughs> mushrooms look lovely. Send it down, Jules. Uh, three to one on then, Jimmy Lolly. They're asking for a carpet here. Six to one, three, Johnny's Way. It's 12 to one, four, Kish Corsair. Uh, I've missed one again. 10 to 1, 6, aren't they? I must remember that 10 comes before 12. 16 to 1, 5, exciting. Anton, 20 to 1, 2, Pagal Star. Sprinter's predictor. Well, I should expect. Well, I'm going to tell, I'm gonna tell the viewers at home, this is our nap of the night, yeah, Dave. Is. One's going to lead and two's going to follow exactly. it round. Norman miller Kistrom's dog, local dog, run the track well. One will be gone, two will follow it round, and the two dogs, 20 to 1. Now, Mr. Newborn, if you've got a mobile with you, Get on. One to beat two here. Straight forecast. He looks great, doesn't he? Dog. So does Luba. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one will win. Jimmy Lolly will win. Well, look, doesn't he look a picture of, doesn't he, Dave? Absolutely. But one's going to be gone out of the track. He's going to leave a really? big gap. Two's going to follow him around. Three will move off. One and two. This is, this is our nap. Isn't he fantastic for the sport? Well, considering not so long ago, we thought we wouldn't see Jimmy Lolly again, didn't yeah. we? You know, yeah. You know, he's tremendous how he's come back. The comeback king. Uh, Jimmy Talk Lolly. The comeback king is Gary. He's now a veteran, of course, and uh, Jimmy Lolly, 
So he's looking for his 70th win out of 118 races. It's remarkable. But what is even more remarkable, he's looking for his sixth consecutive win since that terrible injury that he suffered. So we're all set to go. The William Hill Sprint, 273 metres, two bends. Errol Blythe, you'll commentate, of course. Yeah, and of course, the two of those uh, wins since he's come back from injury have been uh, finals. The Festival Flyer up at uh, Sunderland and, of course, the Coral Sprint at Hove. In he goes, Jimmy Lolly. 4 to 11 now. In goes trap two. Pig Owl start. Showing at 20 to 1, drifting out. There's trap three going in. Johnny's way for Nick Colton. One win from eight on the open race circuit. Good win as well. Oh, Kinsley, the track record. Starter's happy. Goes round the front. Make sure that they're all pointing in the right direction. And then we'll have the action underway here. The hair is on the move for the new mobile site, mobet.williamhill.com. 273 metres sprint. 500 pounds to the winner. Jimmy Lolly, one to three again as the hair spins round. And there they go. Well, he's walked out, Jimmy Lolly, in two. Pig Alstar leads up early here from six on the outside. Ardera plays and five exciting. And Jimmy Lolly's rushing through now to move up into second. But he's got a job on his hands here. It's two. Pig Alstar that's going to cause the shock. It's Pig Alstar by two lengths wins from Jimmy Lolly. And back in third was Johnny's way. Well, he's walked out of the boxes from trap one, Jimmy Lolly. And Pig Alstar was there to take full advantage. She bombs out and leads here. Well done to Nora McKellison with <laughs> Bird off flight. Well, Pig Owl Star wins this year have come at Romford in 24-37 and 24-35. Let's watch the action again as they leave the boxes. Stumbled a little bit, I suggest, coming out of the boxes. And trap two, Pig Owl Star bombed out. Jimmy Lolly goes rushing forward on the inside. Got up into second place, but you don't get a lot of chance when you ruin your start it's been such a great night for Jim uh, for Seamus Carhill as well of course with two winners already it did look as though the race was at the mercy of Jimmy Lolly but just that slight error at the boxes and hey ho he's he's back in second his uh, winning sequence comes to an end trap two pig owl star the winner then from trap one Jimmy Lolly will put the spotlight camera 